नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग गुड नून गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग गुड गुड नाइट एज पर योर टाइम जोन द ग्लोबल सिटीजन एंड द लवर्स ऑफ आयुर्वेदा यू आर वेलकम वंस अगेन एट द ग्लोबल ऑगमेंटिव आयुर्वेदा यूट्यूब चैनल एंड एलिटिका आयुर्वेदा यूट्यूब चैनल बाई मी मीन्स प्रोफेसर आनंद चौधरी फ्रॉम बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी and uh, we are going to to a series what is the position of ayurveda in europe america australia africa arab we have completed the series today we are very fortunate that we have a person and i am hosting that uh, very great visionary missionary personality who propagated ayurveda specifically in europe by his own views and his skill and he convinced a lot of doctors as well as the commoners and the elites and the educationally persons there in the europe and he convinced to uh, just uh, to believe in ayurveda have faith in ayurveda and the potency in philosophy and the, of course the ayurvedic interventions so who is he i have not told the you name and how he reached this i'm not going to tell you this also this interview is also something in a reverse order so everything is a real story real story of the pragmatic progress real story of the rational reasoning and then progress and the real story of the validation of a system of medicine in europe as well as in the india also where the dominancy of the allopathic medicine for a particular diseases were there but he creates a space there by his own vision and the study through the whole classical ayurveda and uh, who is he just i am revealing who is uh, that uh, great visionary personality is professor s n gupta who is uh, just before you and uh, nowadays he is holding the position of the very high position of the academy that is the honorable vice chancellor of uh, the university university named is the magan bhai adenwala maha gujarat uh, university and it is situated in the nadiyad and his you know what is his motto that a small town is having the global trend nadiyad is a small town of the gujarat and uh, it is a small town in the area but if you think about the wisdom the intelligentsia the clinical skill the all holistic approach for a patient or for a general man for promoting promotion of his health this is a global center and the success story just round and round with the professor s n gupta so who is professor s n gupta how he started this journey from a student of ayurveda to this position we will go step by step so i welcome you sir here on our channel which is a international channel and uh, we are taking care with the global augmentative ayurveda as well as the for our our indian scholars who are the students of the undergraduate and the post graduate or the doctorate we are running this uh, analytica ayurveda where we used uh, raised the some questions about the policies and uh, any issue related to the ayurveda so first with the view of these two channels and uh, i am very much thankful to the professor sn gupta for just sparing his valuable time for our channel and uh, now just the success story begins so professor sn gupta sir how you visited to the nadiyad and what is your base what was the base to be here in the nadiyad and uh, how you just developed this institute a famous global institute for our viewers before i start answering your question sir sir please first of all i thank you very much this is actually big honor for me that a professor like you from a university which i love very much not because it is a big university but 
because it is established with a specific motto sure. by a real patriotic spiritual rishi like person pooj mahamana madan mohan malviya ji and when you are representing that university and uh, consider me able for your program that means a big honor for me now i come to your question sir it is not uh, nariyal but if you see my whole life story probably from novelist here here it you may write a good novel on it whatever happened in my life if that anybody who does not believe in destiny can easily start believing it true everything in my life happened which never planned before i belong to a businessman family in that i am the eldest son and naturally my father wanted me to join his business after my school education and in those days in our community particularly the uh, first choice was always business of course education was also but very rarely i was by god's grace i was good in studies so i wanted to continue my studies after school and my grandfather favored me that if he wants then let him continue so i started bsc it of course i wanted to be a doctor in those days the admissions in medical colleges were after first year of bsc but that year government started pre medical test and for that minimum age was 70 and i i was not 70 i was not even 16 because i was also very fast in learning process so i completed my school also early so when i was in second year of bsc i appeared in emt pre medical test and when i already passed sec uh, uh, this Uh, BSc second part and already started my final BSc few months after that the result of pre medical test were out initially we were selected but there were some policy change and then this was cancelled it is again a big story and so the admission was cancelled it was a big frustration rather a depression like situation for me what to do then i just heard that there is a parallel stream known as ayurveda oh so i decided to go in ayurveda when i met my professor about me i was most favorite student of him he told no this is not for you ayurveda is always a third class student not even for second class i told sorry sir i decided i will go i want to be doctor he told but now you can appear in pmt again if you want to be a doctor i say no the door which was closed for me i will never knock on that door again that's the point so i will not do this then to look at you already near to complete your bsc do msc 
and then PhD, you will be doctor. Okay, in that way. Yeah, I told sir, not that kind of doctor. Yeah. I want to be a medical doctor. Yeah. Then he told, I feel sorry for you, but if you want and do this, I started. In those days in Madhya Pradesh, there was a college, Rajkumar Singh Ayurveda College in Indore. I got admission in government college two years also. But the reputation of this private college, Rajkumar Singh Ayurveda College, it better. was better. And really, it was very good college. Our professors there, big scholars, even once, Professor P.J. Despande came there as examiner and he told the authorities there that you have so much facilities, why don't you start post-graduation here? This I knew when I completed one year there from the professor's mouth. Sir, in whole first year, everything was above my head. It's usual. Our professor of Sanskrit, he was also teaching us Padarth Vijnana. Now I know that he was really great teacher. Whatever he has spoken, without even, even paying attention that time, those shlokas, those sutras came in my subconscious. And I can recall them now. But that time I did not wait to them. When the examination was there, in April, suddenly there was some strike, etc. So examination was postponed in June. And in those days there was no TV. If you have to pass your time, sometimes you can listen to Vivid Bharti or some other programs on radio. Otherwise nothing was there. Since my childhood, I was interested in literature. In company of my grandfather, I nearly read all our ancient literature related to mainly Purana. So just to pass time, I started re reading Raghuvansha, which was in our uh, syllabus from Kalidas. And because of my interest in literature, I read it with full of interest. Then Panchatantra, one part of that was also in our syllabus, that also I completed. After this, I took Lagu Siddhan Komudi in my hand. Right. And when I started reading, starting from Aishwar Sutra, because I came from background of science, I thought that this is all mathematics. And sir, because of this, I could remember all those things very easily. Then anyway, Padarth Vigyan, even without interest, I just read Ayurveda Ka Itiyas, that was like a story book. So anyway, I prepared myself for examination. When I appeared in the examination, I completed it. I felt that I will pass. Not much expectation. When result out, I talked to university. I surprised. You deserve. <laughs> And in Sanskrit, I got 95% marks. Oh. That changed my whole attitude towards life. Yes. Turning points. Yes. And then, from that background of my science, critically, logically, that time also in Indore, when I was studying, I came in contact with Ari Samar. And during my visits in Gari Samaj temple, I also had opportunity to meet some Vedic scholars there. 
and in this whole background i learned how critically and logically we can understand these ancient philosophy and knowledge system deeply so everything i started learning in my own way sir when i was in second year swastrat was subject and the examiner of that subject for why wa was also deputy director in government he wrote also several books so in those days these external examiners when they come for viva they also bring our answer book okay yes from there so he brought there and he asked me you have written this mm -hmm. the question related to janpada dhansa oh so he asked me did you write this yes i did my answer book i have written it mm. so you have not copied this he doubted yeah i sir if you doubt that i have copied it then please tell me from which book it came it is this is the point hmm. yeah this is what i want to know that where from it is copied i say sir i told you that i do not i did not copy but if you doubt then tell me from which which book it is then go prevailing i i do not know that this is described in any book right then i told sir whether to believe or not this is my own explanation so in that these words dharma adharma deva all these things i explained according to my this whole background from vedic scholars then this as you explained in the pandemic i yes, remember yes 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 same day yeah. in the same day yeah. so it is not that i thought about this pandemic during corona period yeah it was since then mm -hmm. and even when i taught my students during my career whenever these things came i explained in the same way so during pandemic also i explained i understood and we practiced also these things same way here so in this way i completed my graduation and in that also in final year also i was university topper in those days there was a system in mp that first five in merit uh god immediate appointment letter as medical officer from government oh so my friend who was second in university dr n k sharma who retired from ayurved college patiala two years back one day told gupta ji i have to entrance test forms for jamnagar Okay. So one for me, one for you. <laughs> I told Sharma ji, now it is you now. I'm not going to study further. <laughs> now I will start my practice. Or if this medical officer appointment letter is there, I will join this. My friend told that see, I also do not want. But we go there and. we appear in the examination and then uh there is dwarka somnath so we will visit and come back anyway we went there we gave this test also return back after having to three days journey and as soon we reached indore bay we got information that you both are selected now what happened that our principal there and other people we asked them they said you should go there our relative just said you always mention that 
Jamnagar is like a tirth Maharaj Vrata. Yeah, yeah. Then if you are selected, you should go there. Fine. So, we were forced to go forced to Jamnagar. To. Yes, forced. forced. Yes. To. <laughs> I am honest here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Therefore, I told you earlier Destiny. that nothing hmm. which I wanted and happened. Everything happened which I never planned. Yes. Yes. Anyway, there are also several things related to these there three years, three years of Jamnagar. Mm -hmm. There can also be a big story related to that, yeah, yeah. but we just escaped that part. Yeah, yeah. Now what happened that on last week of our uh, uh, MD final in Jamnagar, me and N.K. Sharma both got an interview letter from Nadia. Interesting, sir. Yes. Mm. And when this letter came to us, we surprised that we have not applied for it. Campus placement. Yes. Uh, so, day. our professor Dhani ji yeah. was a good friend of our principal Hirubai here. Okay. So, we went there, sir. Have you recommended this? That this we got, got this uh, letter? He said, no, I never recommend anybody. Mm. But, he always used to tell you by yes, just hero. He was a very clever person. He might be watching and he might got information about you mm -hmm. and therefore he sent you mm -hmm. invite uh, this uh, interview letter. Uh, then we told sir, but we actually do not want to uh, stay more here in Gujarat. Yeah. <laughs> and we want to have some other things. Yeah. Then he told even also my professor. S.K. Mishraji, yes. you know very well him. Yeah, yeah. He told, see, this is also a training. And incidentally, sir, see, mm -hmm. on 25th June, mm -hmm. 81, mm. 81. Yeah. This interview was here in Narayan. Mm -hmm. 24th June. Result was declared. No, my last examination. Oh, yes. In Jamnagar. In Jamnagar. On 26 June, I had one presentation in uh, KGMP College, Bombay. Yes. So we decided 24th after completing our examination, we will take a train to Nariyad. In the evening. Yeah. We will break journey in Nariyad, mm -hmm. give interview, and in the same train in the evening, we will go to Bombay. Bombay. So we came here. We did not have any expectation or any wish that we should come here. During interview, the chairman that time, mm -hmm. Magan Bhai Edenwala, yeah, on whom named this university? The university is now. Yeah. He asked me, when will you join? I told sir, I never thought about this. Mm -hmm. Then think about this. We need persons like you. I told sir, we have never thought about our area or anything. We are just going for this conference and then probably after having advices from family members and others, mm -hmm. we may do this. Then he told, okay, go for a conference and join on 1st July. Then after this thing, before boarding in the train, we did we did first thing that I called Professor Mishraji. Yes. That this happened, what to do? Then he told that, see, you may join there. If you don't like, or if you have any other opportunity, then you can leave this any time. But when something is in your hand, then you have to accept it. So, after this conference, we came here. We joined here. <coughs> so, journey started. Journey started in Nagi. Thank you, sir. Thank you. This is very inspiring and motivational.
the whole journey. In fact, uh, when I said you we, we were in the beginning only, I shall go in the reverse order. So yes, I am again in the same way. Uh, so my question completed, ki, sir, how you landed in Ayurveda is now just uh, uh, answered by you, and it is really something what you said in the beginning that uh, those things happened with you always, which were never planned, and the non-believer of the destiny will started believing in the destiny. It's really true by seeing you here. See about Nadiyad also. Yeah. Just when we were in the second year of MD, yeah, with our one colleague yeah. who was alumnus of this college, yeah, we were passing through this street, right, going to Surat. Okay. And from the window of bus, uh -huh. he has shown us See my this, college. this is my college. Yeah. And I told, oh, this college, mm. I will never come here. And I came here. Destiny. Therefore, I say that this is destiny. I did not want to come to Ayurveda. I came. I did not want to do post graduation. Yeah. I did. I never wanted to come to Nariya. I came. Sir, you are more famous in Europe. You are equally famous in India, but you are more famous in Europe. And this is a such a achieve, an achievement of yourself to be proud of you. All the academia in the India, right from my university, Banaras University, or the uh, topmost institutions like All India Institute of Ayurveda, Delhi, or the National Institute of Ayurveda, Jaipur, or the Infra Jamnagar, or the Deep South, Udupi, Hassan, everyone is giving the example. See Professor S. N. Gupta, see how he convinced the Europe for Ayurveda. So, something brief about this journey, your entry in Europe. Not only the entry, the your convincing power to make them believe that Ayurveda has potency. This started uh, in late eighties. Right. One uh, yoga teacher in high practical from Germany wrote letter to nearly all Ayurveda colleges of that time. That he wants to, he wanted to come and learn Ayurveda Sir. for some short period. When this letter reached to us, our principal Hirubai gave me this letter that what to do. I told him if somebody wants to learn, we should say yes. Mm -hmm. So see, only from our college. He got this letter that you may come here. From not not way. from other colleges. Yeah, I got Probably it. they thought, oh, what is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this gentleman, this yoga teacher, very nice fellow. I can tell you that he is such a person that in the beginning, for his yoga education in Germany, he was not taking any money in those days. Okay. So he came here, he stayed for three months here. Mm -hmm and learned some basic concepts of Ayurveda. He already had background from yoga. He was a practical, so also a medical background. So far in these three months was quite enough to know the basics of Ayurveda. When he went back after maybe five, six months, he wrote me a letter that my son friends, they also want to know about Ayurveda. Interesting. They also work with me, but they cannot come to India. Okay. Can you come? I say yes, I can come, but uh, you have to arrange my transportation. Yeah. He told yes, I will do this, but I will not pay you anything. I said that I do not need. You just arrange my transportation and accommodation. That's, That's enough. enough for me. Yeah. So, in fact, I went there as a tourist. <laughs> and during free time, I used to discuss with his friends some basic things. Not actual training, but just personal talk like thing. That time, this uh, yoga teacher was also going to learn Sanskrit in Tubingen University. That is 500 years old university. 
Dubingal, and was very good center for Indology. Right. Even in their library, there are so many manuscripts of Ayurveda. If you see the introduction part of our Charak Sahita edited by Yadavji Trikamji Acharya, you may find that some portion of Charak Sahita they have taken from Tubingan University. Oh. So I, one day he asked me that, would you like to meet my Sanskrit teacher? Mm -hmm. I said, of course. So when we went to this Indology department there, unfortunately the teacher did not come that day. But when we were sitting there, the head of Indology department, very great scholar, now he is no more, Professor Paul Stephen Crowe, he saw us sitting there. So he sent one his secretary that uh, asked these people that what is their purpose to visit here. So she came to us and asked, so we told that we came here to meet, meet Professor Dukna, but she is not there. So she told that yes, today she will not come. But our head, uh, Professor Paul Stephen Crowd, told that if you want, you can meet him. We thought, okay, why not? Then we went there. Up, he was great, great uh, scholar of Indian philosophy, Indian languages. So during discussion, we started talking about Sankhya and these philosophies. So the way in which I usually explain these things, I try to explain these things. So suddenly I told, can you give some seminars to our students? Yeah. So I told, yes, why not? He told that, but we will not pay you anything for this. You do not have money. Okay, you are not, not money. I told, sir, uh -huh. that's okay for me. Uh -huh. But I need a means of transportation. That's okay. Then he told, that also we cannot pay. Oh my God. We do not have fund. Then uh, I told, sir, sorry, I am not debt rich. Mm -hmm. that I can afford this. And uh, then Elma Stapelfeld, mm -hmm. who is my most favorite student in Germany. Yeah. He was a student at that time in Indology. Right. He was standing there. Mm -hmm. He told that we will manage. Okay. So from their student union and also the student union of medical uh, faculty, they have organized my program for next year. Oh, yes. For 93. Oh, oh. This meeting was in 92. Uh -huh. In 93, they organized my program there yes. for some lectures. During my last lecture, they organized one debate program with a very great professor, big professor, Professor Amon of pharmacology. The topic was whether Ayurveda is useful in modern time for Europe or not. Very burning title, huh? And this debate hmm. was quite interesting debate. Okay. In those debate also, I can speak for more than two hours. Yes, I understand. How, sir. how it went. Yeah. And this whole thing was also in media. That was my question, how you convinced them at that time? Yes. Yeah. So, it was in the media. Right. I also maybe have in my computer some of the pictures of this paper Debate. in newspaper. Yeah. In newspaper. Okay. So, that time, uh, uh, the guru of Mark Rosenberg, yeah. he read this and he called me that if you are here in Germany, why did not you contact me? Anyway, so he also told me that can you give seminar in our institute? I told, okay, I will. And then they invited me in April 1994 in BS9. Mark and Kestin Rosenberg, yeah. you know them very well. Yeah, yeah. 
so we started there two weeks program for introductory ayurveda and in that some medicals were also there after this program they asked that this is not enough for them because we are practitioners so we want more of course so slowly slowly we started adding some other topics related to dravibuna the plant those were available there then some main diseases and in this way after probably 4 5 years we started full medical program for medicals there as per the academy yes and your mr john story was yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this mr john story also yeah. discovered there yeah. because this is also see mm-hmm. my way of teaching yeah this is really very i always feel mm-hmm. that we make the teaching and learning stress here yeah, sometimes yeah so why not it should be stress free yeah, you have to do study on the on the what it is yes so this is my way yeah similarly i explain all these very typical plus of the topics in very simple language for example uh maybe it will not be in your topic so no 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 yeah please but just for uh there was one workshop mm-hmm. i do not tell you everything yeah yeah please just to maintain some uh privacy etc privacy and the other so there was a workshop on avarna yes <laughs> i remember now okay it was for two days yeah when one first day yeah yeah after lunch one participant who was also lecturer in some college yeah stood up that what you all are speaking here mm-hmm. that i also know because i am a teacher okay what is written in charak sanhita and susu sanhita fine what fine. commentators have told yeah is see i also read it. this mm. now it is 4 o'clock mm. tomorrow after lunch we will say everybody bye bye mm-hmm. and still i do not know about others but for me this is still a question that how to know what is our yes so everybody will guess we also feel same then the literature is available everywhere mm. organizers mm. one of the person he knew me mm-hmm. and he asked me can you mm-hmm. help mm-hmm. i say yes after completion of your today's whole schedule okay give me one hour then you will explain what is our and mm-hmm. i do not want mm-hmm. these all big stall out there and me my I own way mm. i will explain the hour and the time which i got in that time i prepared some slides quickly and in one hour i explained that what is hour and we were only satisfied there yes next day when program started for every question every told it is already explained it is already explained <laughs> it is all ex- already explained yeah in that program our ex advisor yeah yeah vedya shiv kumar mishra ji yes sir were also there mm. he asked me gupta ji what you did what magic you done yesterday yeah i say sir i just simplify the things which we used to make complicated so this is my way i always believe that things are simple mm. we love to make them complicated as that this is the notion the things are simple and we people love to make them complex so we have to remove it and we have to follow the path of professor simran and gupta ji and you know friends uh, now he is in the high demand not only in the one institute that is a rosenberg european academy of ayurveda but he is propagating ayurveda all across europe and uh, half time he is in india and half time he is in europe in the different different seminar 
on the different different titles and is not educating the only those people from the commoners who are willing to have Ayurveda but the their allopathic uh, graduates and the qualified doctors are behind Professor Ajahn Gupta for understanding of Ayurveda. So sir, I congratulate you and we are very much grateful to you for the service of Ayurveda at the global level. Sir, here is the one problem. Everyone in India or the abroad, due to the several reasons, there is a problem related to the kidney disorder, and the, mm -hmm. you know, the uh, acute or the chronic, whatsoever the, these things are there. Mm -hmm. And sometimes everyone is raising hands, no, uh, now the life is over and your kidney cannot be cured now or to manage for the further life. In this serious situation, people look to you all over country and even from the abroad people are coming here for the treatment and just uh, back one month i got a call from the office of the governor of the andhra pradesh and uh, there was some thing like that they want they just wanted to have to who is the better in the field of ayurveda for the treatment of the kidney disorder and as i am knowing you and i have your blessing since last uh, 15 years i may say from our story we start from the jamnagar to knowing each other for more than 15 years. So I just referred them to meet Professor Gupta sir and uh, he is your solution. And he contacted you. And they contacted you all. So sir, how you develop your interest into your, the kidney disorders and uh, what is this, uh, your progress line and the development of your protocol for the, to treat this? Because these viewers who are listening, they are the postgraduate or the doctorate or the undergraduate of the Ayurveda or from all the globe. They wanted to have it, the knowledge, how to develop these things. So, please sir, be kind enough to teach us about this development of the protocol of the chronic kidney disorder here. Sir, actually, this is again, I, I tell you, <laughs> that since first day, yeah. We are in hospital here. Yeah, yeah. I did not have the cases who are usually treated in Ayurveda hospitals. Okay. You may be surprised to know that the cases which I started treating here yeah. are like cirrhosis of liver. Oh. Arterial disease. Oh, yes. Where? Doctors in those days mm. actually this transplantation of liver was not started in India. Sir. So doctors used to tell the patient that now you have only one week or two uh, weeks. Life is over. Please mm. go back home, mm. call your relatives, etc. etc. Right, and by God's grace or because of some cosmic uh, decisive faculties, these patients came here and I started treating them. You actually asked about kidney, yeah. but I tell you sir that we also have big success, success in cirrhosis of liver. Oh, good. Rather I can say that we have better success rate in liver, in liver diseases oh. than in kidney. Yes. Even today, yeah. There are 11 patients of cirrhosis of liver admitted are there here. here, are admitted. And we have treated maybe hundreds of patients of cirrhosis of liver who were told by conventional specialists mm -hmm. that either you go for transplantation or you do not have life. Oh. And these patients are still alive. Living normal life. But now, Great. as Great. your question yeah. is focused on kidney disease, so same way, mm -hmm. in our town we have a big urology hospital. It is known as biggest hospital or biggest facility in whole Asia. Oh my God, like yes. this? Oh. Only by Patel Urology Hospital. Mm -hmm. So, patients from all over India used to come there for mm -hmm. the treatment of kidneys. Now, there are two options for kidney patients. 
either dialysis mm-hmm. or transplantation. Mm-hmm. Now, for a common man or even for a higher medic middle class community, it is not easy to bear the expenditures of, of any of these two. Any of these two. Yeah. It is so, expensive. just in search of some alternative, mm-hmm. they started coming to us. Now, in the beginning, this was also new for me. Yes. And such illnesses are like Anukta Vyadis, mm-hmm. not described in the text. Cirrhosis of liver, described. So that was not much difficult for us to design the protocol and treat. So I read this question before you, sir. Yeah. So this is totally new for us. Mm-hmm. But our classic save guidelines for every such condition which is not described. Mm-hmm. We have to find the body components which are involved in the pathogenesis of the disease. Mm-hmm. So which doshas are involved, mm-hmm. which dushas are involved, which srotas are involved. So after analyzing this and what type of pathology is there in the srotas. So just we started from the Rasayanas, those are particularly acting on Mutra Vahasa That is the Sutra? Yes. Mm-hmm. Besides some symptomatic treatment, mm-hmm. for example, if they have nausea vomiting, mm-hmm. so giving them Mayur Picha Basma or uh, similar other things, if they have uh, loss of appetite, so give something like just order and these things. But men, the Rasayana, those act on Mutrava Srutas. And from that, which is working, which is not working in this way. Trial and error. And yes, yes. Yeah. And then we said a little protocol that this is usual uh, protocol, helpful in this patient. But again, every patient is different patient. Every patient is different patient. Yeah, practice. So, sometimes we have to add some more things okay. or we have to reduce some other things. And in this way now, we have several options to treat these diseases. Now even, now we have good flow of these patients. In the words of uh, Barack Obama, the former US president, uh, yeah. you are following here the philosophy of precise medicine just describing the individual need and yes, the individual yes, treatment. Yes. It is not fixed dose or the fixed pattern for everyone. So really we congratulate you for the success of your team and this institute which is known as now. And now you are competitor of this uh, particular the urology center. Sir, sir, see I should not tell this that we are competitor. No, no, no. But, you are but we are yeah. just providing support to the patients. Yeah, support those are not them. able hmm. to go for these options of conventional medicine. So, sir, Once again, this is the humble earlier uh, in the patients where dialysis was necessary mm-hmm. and we did not have any option where to send for dialysis to them because from this hospital they say, no, we will not do this. If you are willing to have our treatment, then only. So, we did not take the patients those were on dialysis. Now, some other private centers started in this area. They cooperate us whenever we send patient, they do dialysis. So now we are taking the dialysis patients also. So more than 50 patients we have in indoor of this chronic kidney disease. Yeah, I got and, to the report. And out of them, mm-hmm. maybe 60% are dialysis dependent. And in them, in several patients, we are able to stop their dialysis. At least we are able to reduce the frequency of dialysis. Sir, now it's more important and your signature, your contribution so in is this more way, significant. We are giving them an- another thing that patient feel better yeah. even after stopping the dialysis or reducing the frequency of dialysis. Now I can say sir, that Nadia is the hub of urologic center from the very beginning 
and here you have created a space for Ayurveda to make them people be benefited with the potency of Ayurveda by your vision and thoughts and your practice and experience and your observation on the different kinds of the person and they are being satisfied apart from this conventional treatment and they are getting benefited and their life is easier and well with the help of Ayurveda and your team. I congratulate you sir for this very particular achievement for which the whole world is looking, even the WHO is also looking for the better, for the uh, something better and uh, which is keeping the cost as well as the feeling and the all plethora of the patient uh, to be subsided and uh, whatever the life and the better life he may or she may have, you are providing sir. Really, this is a great service to the humanity. And sir, as Just sir, to interrupt you sir, yeah, please. actually, mm -hmm. when you told that uh, Nadia is like a half for urology diseases, yeah. actually, I tell you that Nadia, mm -hmm. people may not be aware yeah. about what Nadia is. Yeah. So just... Uh, Asia biggest hospital, I am hearing first time. Yeah, but see, on. there are other aspects also of Nadia. Yeah, please. So many people do not know. Mm -hmm. That it is birthplace of Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. Yeah, of course, of course. Our beloved mm -hmm. deputy prime minister. First deputy prime minister. Mm -hmm. Real hero. The contribution of the Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel in the Indian history and the making of the Indian. Actually, making of the Indian. Yes, yes. Yeah. Unparalleled. Yes, unparalleled. Unparalleled. Real hero. Real hero. Iron man of the Indian. Then, this is also spiritually charged land yeah. because of Santra Maharaj. Because of the Santra So spiritually it is charged. Yeah. Politically it is very important place. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now literally. Yeah. Very famous film Saraswati Chandra. Uh -huh. The novel on which it is made. Uh -huh. The writer of this novel uh -huh. is Pram Nariya. Great. We are very uh, Lucky person that we are sitting in the Nariyad and thank you to you for providing Actually this Nariyad in earlier time yeah. was known as City of Literates. City of Literates? Yes. Oh, good. I salute the City of yes. Literates. Yes. Sir. sir, now we are coming to the end of our interview session. And you know friends, before that, when my channel started in the month of June 2022, here is also a story how I am put in this chair. YouTube channel. Uh, so, living, keeping apart from all that, I have been interviewed by the scholars about the Ayurveda. Uh, my co-learners of the postgraduate uh, doctorate are having this session of interview on every Sunday. This is the first time I am just getting the lesson from my senior, like uh, Professor S. N. Gupta sir, and I am host, uh, and uh, this is my. Good luck, I can say, and it is my privilege that Professor Asan Gupta has given us time uh, to interact with you all, and I do believe that it is very much beneficial for every uh, viewer uh, who is hearing us, and uh, kindly see how you can progress and how you can make your destiny. Sir, you just told me that uh, you were interviewed by the person who is the whom, uh, name of the home university this has been established in the 2022 good and it is something which is really very thrilling exciting that uh, the by the person by whom you have been recruited here now you are heading the institution as the honorable vice chancellor of the same name of the uh, university which has been established on the, that same fellow that is the uh, our reward magan bhai adalwala you just uh, told us uh, yesterday that uh, the top in the list uh, is also and he was very yes, much uh, yes. he was very much able to identify the diamonds yes, yes. So, so he identified yes. diamonds like you and now you as a person who is servicing the Nadiyar since last 40 years making the vision of that person none other than the Magan Bhai Adanwala uh, you have uh, made all his dreams true here on the land of the Nadiyar sir. So being Vice Chancellor, what you have planning for the next few years uh, to put this Indian scenario of education something new as you did in every field? Sir, 
like usual deliberations i will not i do not say that oh i have this plan i have that plan yeah right right, right. very I honestly i say yeah. that i am not a planner you said everything has been yes. life without plan yes yeah mm-hmm. so and i believe in this mm-hmm. god has his own plans yeah and he has executed those plans through me so i do believe so so even if i will have plan those may be executed those may not be fine therefore sir it is not just hypocrisy believe me i just leave the things in god's hand then do see if i tell you day to day incidences you will say yes it is all miracle miracle really even related to university things happen like miracles of course sir so i'm perceiving it i'm perceiving it but mm-hmm. i wanted this university mm-hmm. to be a good center for indian knowledge system that's the point and again you are talking about the same line what uh, malvya ji maharaj yes Mahara yes sir therefore i told that i do not uh, uh-huh. uh, respect bhu mm-hmm. just being a big uh, that, campus that but a uh, malvia ji like persons yeah when we were school boys yeah and when we heard about his all this uh, mission really amazing and fortunately we studied the history which was not spoiled and then was therefore we knew the real heroes of our uh, struggle of ind- independence and the activities of that time so how malvia ji went to all these uh, multi millionaires mm-hmm. landlords and as a real brahman mm-hmm. he begged for the education yeah not for his living yes of course he was barrister yes he was practicing in the high court of the allahabad very good practice but he left everything for the service of the uh indian culture and the indian civilization so these are like mm. rishi of this era right so if god bless me bless this institute i will like to make this institute as a hub for indian knowledge system indian knowledge system sir i am totally because emotional now in my whole uh un- life na- until now yeah i felt mm-hmm. that if something can save this world mm-hmm. this universe yeah yeah not world but this universe, this universe. that that will be only indian knowledge, knowledge system. system and when you say indian because knowledge system we have described the earth yeah now we are proceeding to destroy the universe Yes, sir. Oh, I understand. So, I understand. If mm. we want to save this, mm-hmm. then only Indian knowledge system. Mm-hmm. With this, please, even to you all. Yeah. Maybe somebody may misunderstood this. That when I say destroying the universe, universe. you may not think that. about this all space activity and the orbit no, no it is not this is all evolution of human beings yeah i am not against this yeah this should happen yeah but when i say saving universe that means if this will be according to indian knowledge system means pro nature mm-hmm. then it will be more useful for living beings and for universe dear viewers respected dear viewers see the theme and the first area that is the be pro nature and being pro nature you can do everything and serve the nature and serve yourself and then vasudeva kutumbakam so everything is here on this line and uh, as i said you okay, that i am doing coming on the reverse order see before you now a person started how into in the ayurveda and now up to the vice transcriptive and once again i am very much uh, 
feeling of life as well as the energized that he is having the vision of uh, Indian knowledge system as our founder Bharat Ratna Malgaji Maharaj was having and you know he someone when he started that I see said someone his friend very close friend in the practice Sar Sundar La that uh, uh, I'm leaving the practice because I want to establish the university then Sar Sundar La laughed on him Malgaji mm -hmm. huh? you will establish an university in this British colonial era. Mm. He said, yes, I will do it. I will do it. So then he said, Malviaji, okay, if I will be able to establish this university, what I am planning, just a common friend like me and you are sitting here, so you are senior to me, but the, both are very good friends, close friends, Sar Sundarla and uh, Pandit Madan Mohan mm. But he said, Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya just said to him, Ki, if I shall able to will establish an university, at, then you have to leave every practice of your barristership in the high court and you will be the first vice chancellor of my university. Then Sasundarla agreed on laughing note, okay, do this, I shall see. And the zeal uh, and the dedication of the Malviya Ji Mara, he established this university after that 20 years, he was at the Prayagraj, Allahabad, mm -hmm. but he established this university in the yeah. Nasi, Banaras yeah, University. Yeah, yeah. It's a long history, sir. Yes. And then, when it was passed by the British Parliament in the 1916, then Sir Sundarlal, the Britishers uh, honored him with yes, the title sir. of the Sir. Yeah. Then Sir Sundarlal came and he was appointed as the first Vice Chancellor of the Banaras oh. University. And then Malgaji Maharaj was the second Vice Chancellor of the Banaras wow. University. The real founder was second vice chancellor. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. because it was a bet, it was a bet between two friends. Other friend, uh, I, namely Sir Sundarar, was not believing on the capacity and the potentials of the Pandit Madan Mohan Malviyaji Maharaj. Okay, you will not be able to establish an university. And then he took as a challenge. Okay, I will show you, I will establish the university. Mm -hmm. And he established, and then Sir Sundarar resigned everything here and came here as a vice chancellor as per the bet. Pratigya. Yeah, no. So, sir, it's just an analogy that, uh, yes, you will also not accept what I am going to say, but the vision of the Malviyaji Maharaj, what, by which he served the nation, even the politically also, in the Indian National Congress of that time, in the round table conferences he attended, you have the same vision. I am visualizing in you a person who is in the footprints of the Malviyaji Maharaj. So, I just if, say... Yeah. If I will be a tiny particle yeah. of his churn raj, that I am saying, that sir. will be probably my big achievement. Yeah, that I am saying, sir. You are just a real follower of the footprints of the Malviyaji Maharaj. I always say him, not Pandit Madan Mohan Malvi or the Bharat Ratna Pandit Madan Mohan Malvi. From my PG studies, I am the person who studied in the, my intermediate colleges established by him in the Central Hindu School of the Varanasi. But BHU is the sir, university who provide uh, education from nursery to the doctorate. Yes, yes. BHU has yes. its nursery yes. schools also, yes, intermediate yes, yes. colleges, and up to the doctorate. Doctorate, yes. Yeah, and then even the post doctorate. Post doctorate, yes. So, uh, that is the mission and the reason and the same mission and the reason I am visualizing in you and my all best wishes to you and we are the followers of the Malviyaji Maharaj. Certainly you more successes and the more progressive path for the Indian knowledge system is awaiting in your cap by the cosmic powers, by the destiny, by the destiny. And friends now you know today is the teacher's day. That is the 5th September 2023 and on this teacher day, this uh, interactive session with Professor S.N. Gupta, the Honorable Vice Chancellor of the Magan Bhai Edenwala University situated at Nadiyar, is a really, really very much capable to open a new thought process among all the youngsters among all the faculty members, among all the administrators, and even the policy makers, the honorables of the assembly and the, of the Indian parliament. So this inter interactive session with Professor S.N. Gupta is really, really very worthy. And I do believe whatever your questions will be 
there in your mind today or months later or the years later you can contact us both of us i am just learning a lot from professor asan gupta sir he is my role model i am following his all academia as well as his organizational power and his administrative views and uh, for giving a time your precious time the global citizens we are thankful to you and once again wishing you all the best on the teachers day and thanking professor asan gupta for his time i say good night good evening good afternoon good noon good morning as per your time zone and once again we will be here with you thank you thank you you and thank you professor asan gupta i wish you a great success in your this wonderful task thank you sir thank you thank you